Hi Aries, here's a general look at your solar chart for August 2008. Well, this is an important month for us all because there's two eclipses in it. One is at the beginning of August, on the first day of August in Leo, and that's a solar eclipse. And the second one is on the 16th of August, and that's a lunar eclipse. So for you, Aries, there's going to be a wave of eclipse energy putting a strong focus into your personal, creative uh, self, things you enjoy, things you find empowering over the coming months. You should be getting started on something that may be more fulfilling for you, or be open to having more love in your life, or laughter, um, all those yummy things that we all want and in fact need. So if if you do a hobby or a sport or a pastime or just try something new, some new venture, some new business enterprise, it can be um, something that you can really put your heart into in a free kind of a way and brings out your more playful, loving side. This eclipse energy will give you the chance to do that, to make you feel special. So all you have to do is to make the effort to tap into it. The lunar eclipse on the 16th puts you in a more sociable or networking frame of mind. So you could be cultivating the connections, uh, the associations, the friends you need to further or share with others your individual creative expression or to bring them on board in some way or you're contributing to some uh, group project that's what it could be and um, so whatever it is put that thing uh, that you you yourself have so much passion for in pool it pool it with others put it into the mix don't hesitate to be innovative or even a little unconventional either and um, it's not advisable to start on the day of the eclipses itself because you know you need a chance for that energy to to uh, immerse you in, in, in the sort of the pulse of the energy so um, maybe a day or two after the eclipse this is the time that you should start getting more into gear on uh, whatever it is that you want to um, try out so in general it's things that are um, unselfconscious it's it's things like hobbies leisure pursuits anything which is non-ego even though you might feel a little bit competitive at times um, it's that kind of thing so that will be noted and appreciated by others some of you will be working more creatively within a group context therefore um, and some others of you will be applying your idealistic spiritual or artistic uh, talents um, as well over this time of the eclipse wave over the next few months. So for August in particular, well, this is going to be a more easygoing month. You, 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 there may have been uh, uh, a lot of work for you, you know, routine daily tasks going on, and there's still going to be work involved, but I think you're going to enjoy it more. Um, this has been a very routine task orientated uh, phase. Um, in fact, that's been going on for a number of weeks, but with the sun in a playful, creative area of your chart, you can get into things which bring you more pleasure. So something will become more fulfilling, more fun. And that's the idea behind most of this month. It's to go for leisure pursuits, hobbies, projects, ventures, enterprises, um, where you're working from your inner creative core. You're doing it because you want to. So if you have a job which can be quite routine, uh, then you're going to be bringing to it, or it will bring to you uh, the chance to be less routine and serious and a little bit more childlike. In fact, this vibration can manifest as more contact with children and or animals over this period or maybe something you do in your leisure time becomes more engaging and important and gives you uh, the relaxing fun you need. We all need that. Play is therapeutic of course and it gets us out of the straight jacket 
of normal life. Romance is another way this energy could manifest. So this is a month to feel adventurous and less self-conscious and in your power. Uh, Mid-month, that's to say from the 14th to the 17th, the effort you're putting in may not be showing the results in some area or someone's opinion doesn't quite tally with your own. So whatever the challenge, you'll need more willpower to match your ideal or belief or just the way you saw things panning out um, and, and, and put that into your day-to-day -day reality. After the 22nd, it's better not to go it alone on things as you do better in a team. But working relationships or more one-to-one -one interaction can be productive over this time and show you sometimes two heads are better than one. Well, that's it for August. Um, if you know your rising sign, have a listen to that too.